there are just so many things to say about San Sebastian, but for a lot of people, they know this basilica as the only all steel basilica in Asia. Um, in the world, there may be less than a dozen all metal structures of its kind, and potentially San Sebastian may actually be the biggest of them all. This basilica is the very first home of Our Lady of Mount Carmel here in the Philippines when it arrived in our shores for more than 400 years ago. This entire edifice actually symbolizes the resilience of the Recollect Order in the parish community that supports this. Because back in the 1880s when church number four got destroyed, they made sure the, the friars, the older Recollect friars, made sure that they're going to build an edifice that would be strong enough to sustain their missionary work. So that is the reason they chose steel over any other building material, because they thought during that time that it's the sturdiest building material that they could find. But, but you know, we know what the problems are right now. Carter has different initiatives when it comes to overall strategies, whether business, corporate social responsibilities. This is one of the key initiatives that we have globally and locally we align with those directions and initiatives of course. And we have been doing this uh, on a global scale and locally we have been doing our own uh, projects and programs as well and different campaigns that involves again co corporate social responsibility activities. We, we have been doing uh, quite a few since back in 2017. This is the one of the first uh, biggest event that Carter Philippines has done and it was the Rizal Monument, uh, cleaning the Rizal Monument. In 2018, we also did the People Power Monument. 2019, another historical site. Uh, this is the San Agustin Church. Uh, last year, 2020, even during the pandemic, we have completed the Bonifacio Shrine as well. And this is our fifth uh, key event, uh, the San Sebastian Basilica.